Hi, this is Dean DeCosta, Free Tool Friday. Today we're going to talk about a tool, a Chrome add-on called Reachable. It sits right up here, cool tool, and I'm going to show you how it works. So in this case, we're looking at Matthias Molinas. He's a Java architect on, at, uh, from Argentina. This is the Reachable thing. I've already highlighted his name. I'm also going to right-click and copy just in case, and we're going to push the little old button here. As it is, it is now calculating connections. The Martin Molinas you're looking for isn't in the list. Search again. So they didn't find the person we're looking for. So we're going to try to search again this way. That means Reachable does not have anything on this person. So what we're going to do, and, I, and, and I'm glad I did this because I, I really enjoy um, showing you when a tool wor doesn't work as much as it works. So in this case, it didn't have any on that person. Being from Argentina, it doesn't exactly surprise me. Um, so let's go ahead and try to find uh, somebody that is um, more local. Let's look at people who are currently in San Francisco. So we get somebody a little more local. And let's try, and you know, some of these are first level, some of these are not. Some of these are second level, some of these are third level. So we're going to go this one, Scott J Dutch. Now, obviously, in LinkedIn, you can go down and see how you're connected to the person. Um, we'll wait till it gets done um, loading. And you can see uh, um, here, and in this case, it shows that it's for me, the Bridget Cooper, to him, get introduced, great, fantastic, yay did a good job. But what we're going to do is we're going to highlight his name anyway. We're going to go up into Reachable and let Reachable do its thing and see if it can make a connection. And for some reason it went off. Probably my fault because I didn't stay on it like you're supposed to. So we're going to do it. And it, 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 it listed all these particular people that could be the person we're looking for. Now we know his name is Scott Deachin and for whatever reason not showing up. But we're going to go to Reachable. Now, we just opened in Reachable, and this is where the fun happens, the magic happens. So we looked for Scott Deutschen, all these people that it's pulling that could be the person we want. And, and, and it makes it really cool, really easy. Not going to say whether these are the right person or not, but I just want to show you what the tool can do. So we're going to say this is the right person, Scott Kenneth. Um, we're going to open up and look at all this information that we have. Evidently, there are 46 paths in which I and this person cross and correspond. In this case, um, at, we're connected via LinkedIn only. Okay, well, good for me. Uh, and, and basically, it's me from it's me to Jason to to Santa Thomas to him. And then this tells me a little bit about the connection. Jason Mazzara is this. This is to tell me about my other connection. That's good. Let's go down here. This case, we're connected through Facebook. So that means I'm friends with Chris Hoyt on Facebook. And this is about Chris Hoyt, who's friends with Robert, Robert, whatever, to Ken Scott. So now I have a way to connect with them outside of LinkedIn, Facebook to them. Down here, Glenn Gardner, I actually have an email address associated with this person. That connects me to him. That connects me to them. This particular one, let's see how he is. He's LinkedIn. He's f Facebook friends. So we got Facebook friends. We got LinkedIn friends. Uh, we just got so much information. This one here lets us know that we have two people from Chris Hoyt that can get us to, the, to this person. In this case, we got three people that can get us to this person. It just gives you so much more information than you realize. Now, here's the fun part. Let's think about this. My rule of thumb is always, if you're really good at what you do, you're connected to other people that are really good at what you do. Now, let's remember, in this particular case, my connection to this person is on Facebook. Th that person's now connected to these two people who are connected to, the, to Scott. Well, you know what? Guess what? These people are probably can do something very similar or related to Scott, to this particular Kenneth Scott. So they might be candid, potential candidates you want to consider. But look at all the ways we're connected to this, to this person. A lot more than you probably realize. I mean, this one I'm sure is LinkedIn because there's a picture. Nope, it's a Facebook, so there's a Facebook. I have an email address as well as being connected to LinkedIn with them. Um, this one down here, just an email address. Uh, this one here, we're connected through Facebook. And believe me, if it's other places than just Facebook and LinkedIn, it does pull them. But look at it. Every connection, every way that you can imagine to get there. They're saying the best is 63. They're saying this is my best way to connect to them. It's got the highest success rate. Odds are because it's a combination of being LinkedIn, then a combination of having two or three other people I'm connected to them with. You get to see a little bit about the person without actually having to get into them, uh, which is really good. Let's see what happens if we see details and look at this information. It brings you over here. Just a lot of great information. Does an extremely good job. And, and, and it's like I've said many, many times, another tool in your tool belt in finding people. And uh, that's Dean DaCosta. I'm Dean DaCosta, I should say. This is Reachable on Free Tool Friday.